Around about 1912, architects were getting really excited about the invention of a new outbuilding called a garage. The word garage comes from the French word garage, which means to shelter or protect. These days, most houses have garages, but back then, a lot of people would get together and hire a large garage to keep their cars in. So pretty much the same as it is today for people like me who have a number of cars. In today's video, it's finally time to start trying to put some roof panels on the garage. Show season's over, all the cars need work, but there's no way to work on them until I get the roof on the garage. Now as you can see on these roof panels, by the time these are bolted in place, this middle bit is going to be very floppy. So up there in that gap, it's going to vibrate, clank and possibly get caught by the wind and blow off. However, there are holes that run all the way down. So obviously when the panels go up, they need to have supports going the full length of them to support them in the middle. I had a bit of a search around the garage, or what's left of the garage, and I found these, I'd forgotten I had these. Now these are the ideal size to fit over some of the wood I've got sat there in the corner. And that'll hold that in place. And of course down here, nice and flush. And then this piece here is going to go in this gap here. So it's going to reach from there across to up here. So I'll make a few more of these lengths of uh, wooden supports off camera. Well, here's a view you don't see very often. That's what the garage looks like at the minute. Well, it looks like that joist there, the third one across, that's out of line, so I may have to adjust that. But let's see if we can get the first panel on, which is going to go along here. Well, there's the first piece on. So let's go up there. Have a look and see what it looks like from above. There you go. Now that's what it looks like from up here. All, all screwed into place. All nice and solid. So nip inside, see what it looks like from inside as well. Now from inside, it looks a bit like that. It's all covered. A couple of gaps, I need to put a, some kind of filler in there in the gaps. But it's on for now. So that's the first one on. Solid enough for now. Get some more insulation in underneath it. But I think that might work. Right. Just the rest of it to do then. I need to make some more supports to go down between those joists down there. I can get the next panel on. But at least it's a start, that's the first one on. Now with the first panel being on, obviously I've got another two supports up over there today. That should finish off the supports across that side of the roof so I can get the panels over there in that corner. But I need to get these ones in so I can get the panels on everywhere else. And in order to do that, I need access over there. So I've got a lot of rubbish that I've got to clear out of the way. So let's get into that and get that tidied up then. Right, well that's better, there's a bit more space. Now I've got enough room to get the ladders up to there so I can make the next make the next support get some more panels on safety first because I'm sure that'll be perfectly okay yep that'll do well, that's another joist gone in or another noggin if you prefer gone in I've got one to do over there which is going to take a bit of acrobatics to get to because all of this lot is in the way on the bench. So I might tackle that one from outside the garage. And then obviously those clamps will come off once the next panels go on there just to hold the end down. So I don't have to damage the holes on the, by screwing that down and then undoing the screws to screw the next panel on top of those holes in the same holes, if you see what I mean. So I've got enough panels there and enough panels there. I've got some more metal over there I can use for the panels. For now though, that's going to do it for this one. I'm going to do a bit of measuring up, gather some wood together and uh, start cutting some more supports to go in. And in the next video, we'll have more supports in and we'll look at getting more panels on. Thanks for watching this one, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Anything you want to know, anything, any information you want to help with, leave a comment in the, in the section below. And of course, if you're feeling that you want to support the channel a little bit more, I've got links in the description to uh, my PayPal and my coffee if you want to buy us a cup of coffee and keep us warm on these cold nights that are cutting in right now. Thanks again. See you in the next video. Bye for now.